This is Peter Bint of Hashtag Daily K. Please enjoy hour number two of a Tuesday. Welcome to Career with Minji. If you're into Korea, then surely you have a favorite one of these. Learning Korean through famous lines from K dramas, movies, and even songs on. Welcome to Korea with Minji. It is a Tuesday, that means Minji's in the studio to teach us Korean. Good morning, Minji. Good morning, hi. I like your patterned top today. Is oh, that like little flowers on thank there? Thank you. Oh, doesn't that look <laughs> lovely? Have you had a good week since we saw you last time? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I bought this from uh, the um, vintage clothes market. Oh, nice. <laughs> Whereabouts is that? A vintage clothes market? Um, here Junior and there? Like Shindebang Yo. Oh. I've never been to there, that, yeah. that neighborhood. My, uh-huh. But my younger sister suggests me going there. Oh, cool. Yeah. And like, I love like looking around kind of new things. Do they have like outdoor stalls or is it shops and stuff with like, vintage stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shop. They, oh. It's the shop. Oh, nice. And yeah, it's very spacious. Uh-huh. And like all different kind of clothes are there. Oh, wow. And then clothes are like only mana, like 10 bucks. Wow. Right? So yeah. It's 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 worthy. I mean, yeah. yeah I've, I've never kind of experienced that kind of things. That's so cool. Yeah, because <laughs> in England we have things called charity shops. So mm-hmm. people donate their old clothes, and then the charity shop sells it, and then they use that money for good things, good causes. But here in Korea, it's not that common to find that kind of store. I feel mm. there is that Adam Down Kage yeah, that yeah, I've heard yeah, about, yeah, yeah. but there's not that many, and it's hard to find them. I feel yeah, it's very hard to find it. Yeah, in England they're like all on the high street for some reason i don't know oh, yeah. why actually but yeah i'm gonna have to go there do they have like men's clothes as well of course oh wow <laughs> are they like separated by size is it like organized mm, or uh i think so okay. or maybe they just separated by some some the purpose of the clothes ah, I, I would say okay the kind of style or whether yeah, it's a jacket yeah, yeah, or a yeah, jumper yeah. or something like wow shindebang okay <laughs> that area is not usually like a tourist hotspot or anything but we had one listener actually get in touch earlier who's in Seoul at the moment saying, you know, where do I need to go? What are some of the hot spots? Anne-Marie Harris, if you're listening and if you like secondhand vintage clothes, Shindebang, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've only visited just one store in that area, and I've heard that um, there are like many vintage shops in Mangwon area, ah. Mangwon or Songsu area. Oh, Mangwon's a nice spot because that's near what Hapjong and that yeah, kind yeah, of place. Yeah, so All right. that could be more like hot spot, you know? A bit more touristy, right? Mm-hmm. Shindebang is not known to be a lovely area to like walk around and stuff, right? Mm. For tourists, I think. Okay, not, like, not... like I'm not saying that kind of like <laughs> harsh. <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think it's somewhere where like people from abroad often visit, right? Shindebang. It's not famed for like tourist hotspots or anything. Mm, yeah, yeah. There's I don't not really so. much to do there for tourists, anyway. But of course, for people living there, it's fine. Uh, today we have a drama slash movie. You've got to guess what that is when we do our acting. What are the three phrases that we got, Minji? Okay, so the first phrase is 피곤하다 이놈의 인기. 피곤하다 이놈의 인기. Yes. And it means it's tiring being so popular. <laughs> it's tiring being so popular. And this is kind of, I just watched the scene just a couple of seconds ago, said in an arrogant way rather than a kind of, I don't know, really being tired of popularity. Uh, the second sentence. 이불 킥각 제대로다. 이불 킥각 제대로다. Yes. I have no idea what this means. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a slang expression and it means you must be kicking the blanket at night with embarrassment. Ah, so when you're really embarrassed, mm-hmm. you can use this phrase to literally mean you must be kicking the blanket at night. Yes. Hmm, I'm going to be asking you about the origin of that because I still don't understand why <laughs> you would do that. And the third and final phrase. Uh, it means, uh, yeah, it's 퇴직금으로 시원하게 플렉스했지. 
퇴직금으로 시원하게 플렉스 했지. Yes, and it means I flexed it with my severance pay. I flexed with my severance pay. And here flex is obviously the English slang term, right? For kind mm-hmm. of showing off. Here in Korea, though, I feel we use that word way more than in English in the West. Maybe some people in the West use it as well, but here... Plex has become yeah. like a trend yeah, word, I feel. Yeah, it's a trend. It's unbelievable. Uh, Okie dokie. We are going to be writing these lines up. We have done so right now on YouTube, thanks to our wonderful writing team. In Korean, but also romanized in English. If you don't know how to read Hangul, it's okay. Record that on your phones and send it in via Kakao Talk. Our username is Daily K. on the uh, YouTube, sorry, on the Kakao Talk platform. Uh, we're going to do some acting, and you've got to guess what drama or movie this is from. It's all in English, apart from those three phrases. Uh, can you set the scene for us, Minji? Okay, so the scene is, um, there is a character named Han Jun. Mm-hmm. He was just released from the prison. Uh, he was excited by a woman who mm-hmm. appeared in a nice sports car, but then he got suddenly annoyed to know that she was actually uh, his real, uh, uh, she's his younger sister. Oh, because she was kind of in disguise a little bit with like a scarf and sunglasses, mm-hmm. so he didn't realize instantly. <laughs> yes. That would be incredibly frustrating and embarrassing. Yes. Uh, I'm going to play the role of Han Jun. Mm-hmm. Uh, another hint. No, let's not give the hints for the actors just yet. See if you can get it from the role play. Let's take it away. Oh no, Nam Han Jun, you're as good as finished. What is this style? Oh no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. Oh, p i g o n a d a i n o m e n k i How far are you going? <laughs> wow, you are e v i l k i k a k e d e r o d a You? Oh no, so embarrassing. Come on. Oh. Hey, where are you going? Oh, weren't you in Singapore? Um, what is this car? I got fire from the NIS. 퇴직금으로 시원하게 플렉스했지. Did you do something weird again? Getting the car. <laughs> How far are you going? Oh, shut up. Just shut the top of this car as well. I'm so embarrassed. Let's go home. Let me change my clothes. I like the background music here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's slightly a hint to the drama with oh, yeah? like that traditional, hey, whom? I could imagine mm. the people, mm-hmm. the job of this drama like protagonist, having that kind of music in the background, <laughs> yeah. maybe the traditional style. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you need any other hints, who were the actor and actress that we were playing? Well, the, the actor you played mm-hmm. is actually So In g u k Oh, famous as a singer as well, mm-hmm. right? And then the actress? Uh, actress is Kang Mina. Uh, she's also a former girl group member, IOI. Oh, wow. IOI, that temporary like, project group, mm-hmm. hugely popular. Yes. I don't think I'm exactly familiar with her role in that group, but I'm sure many of our K-pop fans will know. We're getting lots of guesses on the YouTube live stream. You can also get in touch via the application, the website, over on VLive. Any questions about the Korean language as well, send them in for Minji to answer in part two. Welcome to Arirang Radio. If you are in Jeju, 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Seogipu City. 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Claire's on board saying, Oh, I'm currently watching Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Woo Young Woo. He's on the last episode. I'm still watching that. I'm on the last episode. Uh, Bree saying, I'm watching that and my liberation notes. Both of those are not this drama. Although we have done, I think, both of those dramas as role plays. On Welcome to Korea, right? Mm-hmm. We did Woo Young Woo, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, then, of course, did the Woo Young Woo. And what was, what was My the Liberation Notes. My? 
나의 uh, 해방일지. Oh, we haven't done that. Did we not do that? Like, did I do that previously in the past season? I'm not sure. I'm sure I mentioned that drama. We'll yeah. have a check. And if we haven't, we can do it in the future because that was very popular as well, wasn't it? Uh, Oscars for Minji and Peter, please. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the Academy will agree with you, to be honest. And <laughs> uh, let's check out the drama guesses. I'm scrolling up to try and see who was first on board. Leon saying is the answer. Cafe Minamdang, spelled out in English. Uh, I'm Lita saying Minamdang in Hangul, and Ooh. everybody else going for this. Siska saying it's a crazy drama, and s a i n g u k s acting is amazing. Ooh. Ooh. Are they all correct? Yeah, as always. <laughs> well done, guys. No incorrect guesses at all, actually, today. Yeah, so quick. That's Get, unbelievable. Getting the answer. And confirm from our writer that we did do mm. Naya h e b a n g i c h i Oh, when Korean Onni was on the show. That long ago. My God, time passes by so quickly. <laughs> uh, how long have you been on the show now, Minji? More than two months? Yeah, yeah it's about two months. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> it feels like you've been here forever now. I feel like you've been here for <laughs> years. You've like, fitted in so smoothly and perfectly. Um, we have some clips from you guys as well. But before that, just a quick rundown of this drama. Mm-hmm. So, s o i n g u k in that scene, we said he was in prison and then he got out of prison. So, he's the criminal? Well, um, this could be a spoiler. Okay. So, I'm not <laughs> revealing the reason. All right. Okay. But um, he was actually worked as a former criminal profiler. Oh, his job was that? Yeah. Uh-huh. But somehow he disguised as a you know, fortune teller or uh, shaman. Okay. In, oh, for some of his... Uh, okay, he disguises himself as a mm-hmm. shaman. So mm-hmm. he's not an actual shaman. No, no, no. He's just a pretend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. But he's known as a um, like skillful shaman in uh-huh. the drama because oh. he uses the personal information in advance. Uh, with the aid of the, his sister. Oh, so his sister is in on this as well. Uh-huh. Like, uh, I mean, the Kang Mina, yeah. the actress I acted. Uh-huh. Uh, the role is the um, elite hacker. She's <gasps> an elite hacker in the drama. These sound like terrible cheating brothers and sisters then. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's so, clever. So, yeah, he and she kind of earn a lot of money. But somehow they kind of get involved in criminal cases. Oh. You know, in that neighborhood in the drama, yeah. even detectives... Believe in the shaman. Like, in his abilities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because, you know, he's ever helped with the, solving oh, the cases. Wow. But somehow they got involved in the criminal case. So, yeah. That's, that's very interesting. You know, in this high tech day and age, I'm guessing some shaman might actually do that, right? Look on people's social media to find mm-hmm, out about their mm-hmm, lives mm-hmm. before they come in. Yeah. And then say, I bet you like posting up pictures in the gym and things <laughs> like this and acting like a real fortune teller. So true. Wow. Uh, Minam Dang <laughs> mm-hmm. is the uh, Korean title and in English, as Leon said, Cafe Minam Dang. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, on the outside, it's a cafe, but actually it's a, you know, fortune teller store. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, which I guess there are a few. I don't know if they still exist, but I remember in Gangnam, like in the late 2000s, early 2010, there were a few fortune telling cafes where you could go and get like tarot cards read and mm-hmm. things like this. This mm-hmm. is slightly different, I believe, in the concept. <laughs> uh, we've got lots of clips to play, so why don't we get to them? Benny from the Philippines will go first with yours. He said, I'll try sentence number one today. Here we go. <laughs> I just love the voice. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I think the pigonada wasn't too bad. Yeah, right? of course. So perfect, actually. Yeah, the inom. Let's listen to that part again because okay. that was a little bit <laughs> different. Inomi ingi. Ah, inomi ingi. Because that symbol after inom, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes is pronounced ui, mm-hmm. but sometimes is pronounced just e, like inome. Mm-hmm. In this case, yeah. are both okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, in real life, I think many Koreans just pronounce it like e. Yeah, it's I way always easier. do. Yeah, right? inome ingi, it's okay. But is it okay to say inom? Yeah, of course, that's also the correct way. Wow, I've never heard anyone say that, but it's okay, totally. Yeah, yeah. 
Inom I mean, uy inki. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Maybe in the news program, maybe you could hear that. Inom this uy inki. phrase. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's a slightly casual phrase that we'll get to the meaning of. But well done, Benny, I suppose, for sticking to the dictionary kind of pronunciation. But as uh, Minji said, if you want to speak like a more natural, common Korean, just inome inki. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do that then? Because maybe our listeners know nom. Sometimes it's like a disparaging way to refer to a guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's the way of kind of looking down on the guy. My uncle used to always say that to me. You uh, know, ma, yeah. right? <laughs> like you little rascal. Is it, is it kind of similar to that maybe uh -huh. in English, right? You know, ma. <laughs> But um, uh, I would like to mention that um, if you use it with the form of inomui noun, mm -hmm. the meaning is like you want to blame for the noun ah. or you want to brag about This noun. Ah, okay. So, for example, you can say like, ah, 이놈의 차가 또 말썽이네, for example. Yeah. Then you're like kind of blame for your car. It's like playing up again. It's broke down or mm -hmm. something like that. So mm -hmm. in that case, you're literally blaming the car. But in this case with 인기, mm -hmm. 인기 meaning... Popularity. So, you're, you're kind of bragging in this yes, case, right? Yes, yes. Ah, so you're kind of saying, oh, this darn popularity, just like you would in English, but sarcastically kind of bragging about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this true. darn popularity. I'm <laughs> so popular, pretending you're kind of complaining. Ah, good stuff. Well done, Benny. Uh, and pigonada, yes. and that means? Uh, it means, um, as for the dictionary form, it means to be tired. Uh-huh. But um, Koreans um, speak with this ta ending a lot. Uh -huh. like, and it means like you are exclaiming or talking to yourself. Yeah, because we've talked about it a lot in common speech using hada mm -hmm. or nika at the end of words is not so common. But in this case, you would say this, right? When I'm with friends and I'm feeling tired, I'm like, oh, pikonada. Yeah. Right? You, could, you can say on hey all mm -hmm. but like yeah, yeah yeah it's more like you're talking to yourself uh -huh. and you're kind of expecting the answer from the other person but to kind of maybe agree with you or cheer you up or something like that right <laughs> oh pigonada <laughs> oh kenchana are you okay this yeah, kind yeah. of thing uh, and that in itself just meaning you're tired or you're exhausted or in this case again it's kind of more figurative right mm -hmm. oh this popularity i'm so fed up of hearing yes, it right again you're kind of like sick and tired of <laughs> <laughs> popular. Okie dokie. Music Ooh. that you want to dance to. Oh, yeah. Arirang. 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 Arirang Radio. Uh, let's get to a sentence two. Alex from Germany here. Let's try and play yours. Here we go. <laughs> kick sound was a bit weak there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I... Ibul kick. I heard a uh, ibul beep. That, that's why I heard. <laughs> yeah, so a bit stronger with that kick, right? Mm -hmm. It's an English word, Alex, so you'd be familiar with it, right? Ibul kick, kak, yes. te Oh, but that is tough because the next word here, kak. I agree. Sounds a bit similar to kick. So <laughs> ibul kick, kak. It's hard for me as well. Like. How do you separate this, like in terms of the timing? Like, ibu kick and then a little pause? Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. you can a little bit of breathe. Okay. Like, ibu kick kak. Ibu kick kak cederuta. Yes. So let's look at that word first then. Ibu, what does that mean? Because kick means kick, right? Yes, yes. Kick comes from the English word kick and ibu meaning blanket. Blanket, blanket. Yes. Ibu. 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 Yes. Ibu kick meaning therefore blanket kick. Or yes. what? Kicking your blanket, literally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kicking a blanket, and uh -huh. it's a slang word. Uh -huh. So, like, for example, when you lie on the bed to mm -hmm. go to sleep, yeah. and then you suddenly rem uh, remember the embarrassed moment, okay. then, like, you kick your blanket. <laughs> because you're so shamed. And like embarrassed, embarrassed and yeah. annoyed that you did something, kind of regretting it. Yes. That kind of thing. Like, it, ah. Is that like what people do actually? Like sometimes, if you feel, I think it's just a figurative <laughs> meaning. Cause, cause Have I you ever like kicked, kicked your my blanket? blanket? <laughs> I can understand now you've explained it. I can understand mm -hmm. what that can mean, and mm -hmm. I'm sure I've maybe seen it in dramas, like people when they're tossing and turning at night, thinking about some embarrassing <laughs> situation. And they just oh, I go we got a sword, and they're like kind of just kicking and punching the blanket. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. All right. What is the kak here? <laughs> so kak is uh, also slang. Uh -huh. It originally means an angle, right? Oh, like kak door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
But if it's used as slang, it means like something is likely to happen. Oh. And it's mostly combined with noun. Okay. Like, for example, these days people say like, um, YouTube cop, for example. Which if you're, means? <laughs> if you're uh, like a... YouTube creator, yeah. that you think, oh, this could be um, appropriate for the um, actual YouTube clip, then oh. you say like, oh, this is so appropriate appropriate for the um, you know video, then you can say like, oh, this is YouTube cop. So like, some kind of funny situation or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, oh, 그거 YouTube 각이다. Mm-hmm. Or oh, could you say it like this? YouTube 각 제대로다? <laughs> YouTube 각 제대로다. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird to say this expression. That sounds a bit odd. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm kind of awkward. Okay, because oh, uh, mm-hmm. in this case, yeah, the kak is confusing for me. But chederuda, I think if you know Korean quite well, you'll understand that part, how that kind of fits into this expression. Because chederu means like in the right way, right? Like kind of perfectly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I would interpret this. If it was just ibul kick chederuda. It would be less confusing to me because that to me would then mean, oh, it's completely perfectly embarrassing for you. you yes, know, yes. Me being your sister and you thinking of some pretty girl liking you. The kak is just emphasizing this even more. Mm hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. Something might be happening. Okay, so you're going to be really embarrassed kicking your blankets. Yes, Chededo, that's what perfectly. it means. Like, okay. yeah, you're. Yeah, assuming. Yeah, this is not going to be like a formal standard Korean sentence in the dictionary, right? This not is at all. They're a slang like term slang for words. Sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ibuki kak chederuda. Okie dokie. And as uh, Minji explained, if you want to use that kak, YouTube kak ida. Or you can combine with other words, like for example, chojang. Like chojang means safe. Uh huh. Like on a you, computer. Mm hmm. And if you see some like. Um, like good picture of yeah. your favorite celebrity, for example, then you can say like 저장각. 저장각. Mm-hmm. So in English meaning like that's um, really kind of s- uh, savable, uh-huh. maybe. Because yeah, like, with the YouTube thing, you could say, oh, that's really YouTubeable. Mm-hmm, you know, that mm-hmm. should be on YouTube. Mm, maybe that's a good way to think of it. Yeah, yeah, able, like adding able thing. YouTubeable, savable, in this case, embarrassable. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly embarrassable. Let's try and get on to sentence three. We've got a clip here from Sherry. Let's take a listen. Ooh, that pronunciation. Really so good. Yeah, good. so good. Sounded really chic as well. <laughs> First part. Mm-hmm. So what is tuejikum? Tuejikum means like severance pay. Like when you leave the company, you will get the money. Yeah, in English, like severance pay, it sounds not as common as in Korean. Because tuejikum in Korean, I think even if you leave the company voluntarily after like years, mm-hmm. you get that money, right? Yes. But in English companies, as far as I'm aware, if you quit the company, you don't get severance pay. Mm, I so, see. Mm. So when I first went to my Korean company in the UK and mm-hmm. I quit, mm-hmm. I got tuejikum. And my friends were like, but you quit. Why are you getting money? <laughs> and I was like, well, in Korean culture, tuejikum is mm-hmm. both when you're fired or when you quit, actually. And they couldn't yeah. understand. It's an interesting system here in Korea. <laughs> I think it's quite cultural. Every, yeah, yeah, I see. Every year you go to the company... Usually, they give you a month of pay. I heard is the kind of standard, right? But, so, yeah, and it's it's also based on the length of employment. Yeah. So if you, when I was at company, I went there one year, so they gave me one month tuejikum, mm-hmm. and then if I was there two years, they said they'd give me two years tuejikum, yes, uh, two yes. months tuejikum. Yes, yeah, yes. Which is interesting. Uh, what's the next part of this? Shiwanage. Shiwanage. Okay. So shiwanada means originally means to be cool, mm-hmm. um, but. Um, like literally cool. Yeah, right? like the temperature. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in this sentence, it means you are not like hesitating or uh-huh. you are like uh, kind of outspoken way. You behave that way. So there's no hesitation. Mm-hmm. You're just doing it basically full on. Uh, another way to describe it, I thought, was like you're doing something big time. You're not 
yeah, doing anything in small little. Oh, I don't know whether I should do this. Oh, You're yeah, really you just d- flexing. Yeah, you just do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's 시원하다. 시원하다. Mm-hmm. And then we got flex after that, and then 했지. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the past tense, right? Mm-hmm. You did it. You ah. did. You flexed it. <laughs> so as a whole sentence, mm-hmm. uh, it means like you um, flexed mm-hmm. <laughs> with your uh, 퇴직금 without any hesitation. You just. Did it. No hesitation. Yeah. Big time. I flexed with my severance pay. Because if you didn't watch the clip, it was like a convertible P brand of car from <laughs> Germany. <laughs> so that's what it was all about. Minji, as ever, thank you so much for coming in today and explaining all these fantastic lines. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you. See you next week. Thank you for listening to Welcome to Korea with Minji, a corner you can hear on Hashtag Daily K in hour number two on Tuesday.